entrance antiphon. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our heart. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who at signed St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercessions that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand concerning the mouth of David, concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us 
beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, you Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. As we reflect on the beauty of 
these celebrations. Today we celebrate Saint Matthias, one of the apostles, one that wasn't originally chosen by Jesus. Remember, Jesus didn't choose Matthias himself. Matthias was one of the followers. He witnessed the whole of salvation histories, but he wasn't chosen as an apostle by Jesus. He was chosen by the church, by the apostles, to replace Judas. So, just to say that the connection between the will of God and the church, the connection between the act of God and the mission of the church. Because in the gospel today, Jesus say it. Because in the gospel today, Jesus give a definition of it. He say, for you to act in my name, for you to act in my name, you remain in me. For you to act in my name, you are my friends. You are not, no longer my slave. You are my friends. Let's think about this a minute. Because the God of the universe, the God, the creator of all things, the all-powerful, all-knowing, omnipresent God, elevate our human lowliness from slavery to friendship, from the lowliness of creatures, from a created creatures to friendship. The all-powerful all God invite us to participate in this all-presence, all-communications, and all-powerful, the internal communication of God. That is the definition of revelations. Because at the core of revelation is a communication, the ever present communication of a hidden God toward a human being that he loves. The answer of the human being is at the critical standpoint here. We need to answer that communication. Matthias answered in his own way. He said yes to the invitations. And we see the result, the red of the martyrs, of the blood of the martyr. He died a martyr. So how can we answer that question? How can we answer the invitation and the communication of God. I guess we answer it by looking inward and understand the notion of what Jesus said when he said, remain in me. Remain in me. Brothers and sisters, nothing is more powerful than that. To remain in God is to know, to love, and to allow God to touch the deepest part of our being. To continue to be transformed by the power, the invitation, and the inspiration of God in the depth of our heart.
gather as a chosen people, we come before God with our prayers and needs. For church leaders, may they be filled with the love of Christ as they carry the responsibilities of their offices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those called to lead in government and civil society, may they be given the grace to act in authentic love, especially for the poor and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those burdened by chronic illness, may the Holy Spirit be with them and grant them the strength they need each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord help us to know our calling more deeply and be rooted ever more firmly in the love that first chose us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, mark with the sign of faith. May they rest in the eternal love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And the special intentions for today are for our Mother's Day Novena and also for the intentions of Elijah Love and Emery Rose Albania. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of love, we bring these needs to you today, trusting that you will give us all that we need to bear fruit that will remain through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Is it truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who is in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be good heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Alleluia. And that's the beauty of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merit of the holy apostle Matthias. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the, the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland. For by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of, of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Be him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>